Yeah, so I'm gonna be making this video to show you the process of flashing your BIOS. The reason that I'm doing this is because I've had a bit of trouble using a solid state drive with my M17 XR3 Alienware computer. The issue that I'm getting is that my BIOS is currently A09 and it's actually capping the transfer speed of my hard drive. So what I need to do is roll back the driver to be able to get those SATA free speeds. All right, you can check your transfer speed by using the Intel Rapid Storage Technology software that should have come with your machine. Once you open this up, click on the hard drive in question, go to advance, and here you can see, I'm only getting three gigabytes a second when I should be getting more like six gigabytes a second. You can check your BIOS by pressing F2 when you start up your PC on the loading screen. Right, to download a different BIOS driver, what you're gonna have to do is log on to the internet, go to Dell's website, and download it onto your desktop. Once you've downloaded the BIOS driver, just do a few things before you actually run it. Disable Windows Zero, so just go to your desktop, right click, go to Personalize, and select any basic thing. Make sure you shut down all your applications that are running, and that you have the latest OSD application installed. Another thing I recommend that you do is make a copy of your old BIOS. So I made a copy of the A09 BIOS on a CD as an ISO. What that means is, if it goes wrong, that I'll be able to boot this BIOS back onto my computer without the need to run Windows. To run the BIOS driver, just run it as an administrator, and you can see the Windows BIOS flash utility begins to initialize. Windows then prompts you to close all the applications, tells you not to put your system on standby or into hibernation. Just click OK and the utility will begin to erase the old BIOS and write the new one. It completes in a couple minutes and the computer restart by itself. Once it's restarted, just go back into your Intel RST program and check the speed you're getting once again. So you can see that the speed I'm getting seems to be fine. And hey presto, there you have it. I'm getting six gigabytes a second transfer speed from my hard drive. I even ran my Windows index score just to confirm that my PC was running faster. And what can I say, I just wish that it was a straightforward process. I read a lot of reviews actually online and they're all pretty confusing so I decided to make this video. Hopefully you found it quite useful. For those people having trouble with SSD speeds on this computer, please check out my other videos because there's other issues that you need to do before you can jump to this stage.